Now we're working new details on this weekend's violent attack in New Bedford. At least three people were hurt when a woman rammed her car into a crowd after a party spilled outside. Tonight, the search is still on for that suspect. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau joins us live now outside the police station with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. Two of these victims are in their early teens, and one of them actually went home with broken bones, didn't tell her parents about it until sometime this morning. We talked exclusively to the family of a 20-year-old victim who has inflamed lungs and a dislocated spine. Before police arrived here on Yale Street, there were 80 partiers, including 20-year-old Melissa Velasquez, whose sister tells us was trying to stop the assault on the suspect's SUV. She just remembers saying, stop throwing bottles, and all of a sudden she's seen a light coming towards her. Velasquez's father saw her get hit. She just ran over her when I see her in the floor. I thought she was dead. The tracks start here in the grass near the curb, but they continue through this set of buildings. She raced by this clothesline and then continued onto the grass right here, still chasing people. According to one eyewitness, she almost hit this tree, but kept going up that hill. That's where she turned around, drove back this way. You can follow the tracks where she raced back onto the street. Everyone we talked to who saw the melee is surprised there aren't dozens of injuries. Jean ran over my daughter. She was chasing everybody with the car around over here. Chasing them with the car? Yeah. yeah. She was chasing all the, all the kids with that car. We're happy. She's alive. And, like, we pray every day for her. And we just pray that everything turns out fine for her and for the family. And police, again, still investigating this, still looking for the driver in this melee. In fact, they're going to send four officers out to that housing complex tomorrow to try to knock on doors and, again, get more answers to exactly what happened. Live with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom in New Bedford, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.